Well, sadly, too much mediocrity rules in our parliaments these days. But the recently released memoir of a 32-year veteran of the Australian Senate might be the antidote to this problem. Ron Boswell's political career began almost half a century ago when the then small businessman helped the Queensland Nationals under Sir Joe Bielke peterson do what no one thought was possible, win seats in metropolitan Brisbane. Ron's effective organisational skills in building support amongst disenfranchised constituencies like fishers, banana growers, pharmacists and post office franchisees, and then deploying thousands of volunteers on polling booths during elections led to him winning and holding his Senate seat against all odds. As a Brisbane-based senator, Boswell broke the mould for the Nationals, who were seen as the country party, winning over city-based small businesses while at the same time staying true to the concerns of the bush. The book is called Not Pretty, But Pretty Effective, and Ron's story will make you laugh and cry and cheer for the underdog. Ron Boswell joins me now from Brisbane. Ron, it's great to have you on the program. How, how are you going, Lyle? It's nice to be with you. Doing really well, Ron. Ron, this book uh, almost never happened. It, it almost never saw the light of day because three years ago you were severely ill in hospital and even had been given the last rites by your priest. Uh, tell us what happened. Well, I went into hospital for a knee operation, which thousands of people have. They were just a knee replacement and everything went wrong. I asphyxiated or something and something went down the wrong way and all the kidneys cut out, everything cut out. So I, I, I died twice and had to be uh, re, uh, resuscitated by the doctor. So I was pretty close to it. And that's... Uh, I was lying in the hospital there for four months. And yeah. uh, a, some friends of mine visited me and said, well, you know, you've got a lot more to give, get out go go forward and get out. So I did, and the uh, the result of that was a book. I thought I'd write down my experiences in a book because I thought it would be beneficial for anyone that was interested in going into politics uh, to see what you can achieve if you are fair dinkum and prepared to have a go. Just not accept the, the, the flow of the, the party. You've got to get out there, find out the needs of the people, and then respond to them. Yeah, and Ron, uh, few parliamentarians did it as well as you, and this is why I was so keen to talk to you about this, uh, because your background in small business uniquely prepared you for Parliament. Uh, you say in the book that age 40 is about the right time to go in. Why do you say that? Well, you've got a bit of experience. I think you need the world experience. You need experience in the private sector and... Uh, uh, 40 is the, the, the your kids are probably you know of an age where you can get away a bit uh i found that 40 was the right time to go in and uh, uh but the experience i had in running my own business for 16 years that gave me a real strong background uh for parliament i knew what people wanted i knew how important the small business sectors was uh, if you want an egalitarian Australia, you've got to have a strong small business sector. And uh, that's what I always believed. Australia was a, a very egalitarian society and it's losing that at the moment. And uh, it was backed up by chemists and real estate agents and news agents and the, the small business sector. And those are the people I tried to support. Yeah, and you did it very well, Ron. Um, I want to go over some of the history. You had such a long career that spanned such an important period of Australian political life. But uh, you cut your teeth uh, while you were still in business, um, in your spare time, uh, if you can call spare time for a businessman uh, something. But you helped organise the National Party in metropolitan Brisbane during the bielke peterson years. Why was that successful? And, and what was the appeal that uh, Joe had to the people of Queensland at the time? Well, Joe had an appeal to certain types of people, small business people, the, um, the Bible section of the community, the Christian section. But what he did have, he was a leader and he got out and led on issues and people followed him. And that's what politics needs. Someone would get out with a flag and the drum and say, follow me. And that's what Joe did. And he had a big, huge supporter base People supported him, but they didn't have any avenue to support him in the polls until we came along 
and it started on small business, uh, on a trading house issue. The big end of town wanted to deregulate the trading house, which would have been very tough for small business, particularly the small businesses in, in rural Australia. People would have gone into the Bundabergs and the Mirabarras to shop and left the King of Roy's uh, out to dry. So I was able to convince Joe that he would destroy family families by people making them work Saturday and Sunday, seven days a week. And also he would hurt the, he would hurt the primary industry sector or the regional areas. And when I told him that, he said that would be a desecration of Sunday. I said, you are going to stop people going to church on Saturday and so on Sundays because they'll be working. And he said, well, that will be a desecration of Sunday and it's never going to happen while I'm Premier. And it never did happen while he was Premier. Mm. And uh, then the small business sector could see that he was supporting them because they were terrified of unrestricted trading hours. And when he made sure it didn't happen, they switched their alliances from the Liberal Party to the National Party. And that was the start of it.